Hey guys, so this is not the kind of video I want to be making today. Um, I wanted to come on and still cover audio equipment because I do run Audioholics for those that aren't familiar with my channel. We cover primarily home theater equipment. We do tech articles, that kind of stuff. But this is weighing heavy on my mind. Um, I want to give you an update to my coronavirus uh, issue that I'm going through. So as you guys may know from seeing my prior videos, I was infected on February 28th, 2020. I started seeing symptoms of sickness at the time. I didn't know I had COVID-19, but on 3-2 is when I started getting sick. And I went through a pretty bad week, one of the roughest weeks of my life in terms of just being ill, having massive body pains, having the worst migraines of my life having eye pressure pains, chest congestion, body chills with no fever until, you know, 10, 9, 10 days later. And it wasn't until uh, on uh, March 10th is when I was actually told to go to the hospital to get checked because I found out I was exposed from someone on the 28th. So my positive results came back on the 11th and um, I've been in quarantine. I mean, I was literally... When I realized I was sick um, in early March, I already went into isolation from the rest of my family. So I've been living in the guest bedroom and working in my office in the theater room literally now for almost three weeks. So I've been going a little crazy just being in isolation. I've been managing my symptoms. I've been doing the nebulizer treatments. I've been doing Tylenol when I've gotten uh, bad headaches. I haven't had a fever literally in two weeks. So there's no fevers, um, no body chills. My chest is mostly fine. The only symptoms that I feel now are sometimes I get fatigued. Like when I wake up, I'm not fully rested. Or sometimes my congestion is a little worse. But, you know, it is allergy season. I do have severe sinusitis. So I can't say if the symptoms that I'm feeling now are from the COVID-19 that I'm still testing positive for. Or if it's just general conditions that I have because I do have uh, severe sinusitis and I have a little bit sleep apnea. So I've got my own issues aside and I don't want to give you guys a whole rundown of everything that's wrong with me. But I almost can't avoid it to just kind of document this whole process. So about a week and a half ago when I got my last positive test result back then, they told me since I didn't infect my wife, since she has a negative test result, that I could just go back into the community and I could be with the family and I don't have to isolate. Well, my doctor is very vigilant. She knows my history. Um, she knows that I tested very high RF factor in my blood. So I potentially have an autoimmune disease like rheumatoid arthritis is what we're thinking because it runs in my family and I do have chronic body pain. I haven't been to a rheumatologist to confirm that 100%, but there's definitely some factors in my blood that kind of point to that. Um, the health department basically said I could go back into the herd or back into my family. And my doctor insisted, no, we need to have at least one negative test because we don't know if I'm still infectious or not. So when the health department uh, found out that I had this uh, high RF factor in my blood, they said, okay, we're going to keep you in isolation and you got to produce a negative test. Well, I just got my last test result back from Monday. And I'm still positive. I'm still testing positive. I'm still doing the RNA test. They're shoving the stick way up my nose on both sides. It's very uncomfortable. Um, so now their next step is to test me again Monday on the 6th. But nobody's offering me any recourse. Nobody's offering me any kind of treatment. They're not offering the cloniquinil or the um, plaquenil drug with the z pack that everybody's talking about that has anecdotal evidence that it works. They're not offering me the resdemivar, which is uh, a, a colleague of mine was treated in a hospital because he had severe respiratory problems from COVID-19. That drug saved his life. And you can read about that. I'll put a link to his story. So the health department's telling me because my symptoms are manageable or I'm asymptomatic that there's no course of treatment right now. No course, no course of treatment. I just have to stay in isolation, drink fluids, get rest, you know, do what I normally do when you have a regular flu virus. But this freaking virus 
pardon my French, never ends, at least for me. So what I don't understand is I look at all the news coverage on this virus and they talk about the quarantine for 14 days. 14 days is this magic number that everybody, if they quarantine for 14 days, they'll be fine. Well, what happens in cases like mine where I've made 95% recovery, but I'm still testing positive? You don't hear about any of this. And literally, if this goes on for another week, I'm going to probably hold the record, at least in the United States, for having this virus in my body the longest. I think 37 days is the max that I've seen. So I'm approaching that that number. And nobody could offer me guidance. Nobody's talking about what happens in this case. Nobody's talking about, is it safe to come out of isolation? I hate doing this kind of video because it almost puts a scarlet letter on me. Now, I don't want people to fear me. But at the same token, I want answers. I want, I want this shit out of me, okay? I want to be able to help my family again, and I want to you know, donate my plasma. I've gotten letters from, um, from labs that want my blood so they could extract plasma and potentially have treatments for people that are sick. Um, and I'm more than willing to do that, but I, I need to clear this out first. So what I want to know is, are there any epidemiologists out there that can get in touch with me? I'm doing this video because I sent this information to all the local news channels and they basically said, we hope you feel better, but they're not covering the story. And my thought here is I've read that in China, there were cases where people were reinfected with this virus. I'm actually thinking that's not the case. I'm actually thinking that they were never cleared of this virus. They felt better. And then they got sick again a couple of weeks later. So we don't really know because I'm telling you right now with this virus, I got sick, then I felt better, then I tried to work out, then the next day I crashed again. To me, it came in like three waves. So now I'm on this, I'm in this situation now where I'm manageable. All of my symptoms are manageable. For the most part, I feel normal. Like I said, I sometimes have fatigue. I just like, during the day, I'll just get extremely tired and just literally lay, sit here in my office and just fall asleep for like 10 minutes. So my energy levels obviously are not optimal. My body's doing something to try to fight this, or maybe it's not trying to fight this. Maybe it's still attacking me. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a medical expert. I have almost no medical knowledge at all. And I'm asking for help and I can't find any help. So I hope somebody sees this video I don't know whether it's CNN or Fox or MSNBC, somebody that has direct access to a doctor, Fauci, someone on that level that understands or has some understanding of this virus that could offer some guidance, some type of treatment plan for people that have low symptoms but can't shake this virus. They can't shake this disease because I don't want to infect anybody. Knock on wood, I didn't infect my wife, I didn't infect my daughter. And as far as I know, I've anybody I came in contact with after February 28th has not tested positive for this. So maybe I'm not viral shedding. Maybe I am. I don't know. I can't go out and risk this on my wife because she also has low immune. She's got severe asthma. So we're taking the necessary precautions. I'm wearing an N95 mask. I got this damn mask here. Uh, pardon my French. I'm sick of this mask, to be honest with you. I've got this. My wife wears gloves when she handles me food. So we are taking whatever precaution we can, but all I'm asking, and I'm not, I'm not doing this for media attention. I'm not doing this to monetize this video. None of these videos are monetized. I just want answers. I want somebody to contact me that knows COVID-19, that knows of a possible treatment plan for patients like me that are not recovering. And I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just trying to get answers. And guys, I hope everybody's doing well out there. I appreciate all the positive thoughts and energy that you guys have provided for me. It's been amazing. And um, hopefully we all get through this sooner than later. I just want to get back to normal. I want to get back to doing audio content. I want to get back to what my passion is so I can educate um, people that are interested in home theater. So I appreciate any comments below of any advice you guys have. And I hope everybody stays safe. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.